Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the spooky slash scary book tag. So I saw this, and I think on Spooky Noodles' this channel, I will link to the original and where I saw it below. Uh, there are five questions to this, so I'm going to go ahead and answer those five questions, and then I'm going to tag some people at the end. So question one, what is a scary book that reminds you of 2020? Uh, it's got to be The Stand by Stephen King. Um, I mean, it's set in the aftermath of a super flu, you know, so it's... Uh, so it's, it's very relevant to 2020, you know. Um, I think you should read it though. I read it earlier this year in like April, May. It was like while we were all during, uh, in lockdown and stuff. Uh, and I did enjoy the reread. So yeah, I would recommend picking it up. Uh, if you've never read it, definitely read it. If you have read it, reread it. Question number two. What is a new scary spooky novel you want to read in 2021? Um, hmm. Well, I think Stephen King will have a new one coming out because he usually does. So it's probably that. I want to read some more James Herbert as well, so it's not necessarily like a new release, but uh, I definitely do want to get to some more James Herbert soon as well. I've only read The Rats so far, uh, and I did enjoy that, and I think I have, yeah, I've got others up there, uh, and yeah, I know he's written a load of stuff. He's like the British Stephen King, I suppose. Question number three, who is an author you are afraid of reading? Sally Rooney. Um, <laughs> I read her first book, Conversations with Friends, and I didn't really like it. I, like, I appreciated it for what it was, it just wasn't my thing. But that was when I was on the shadow panel for the Young Writer of the Year Award, and she was up against four other books. And I thought hers was like, hands down, the worst of the five books. And she ended up winning it. <laughs> um, and then she's since had, after that, after Conversations with Friends, she had Normal People, which I've just been avoiding because I didn't like Conversations with Friends. Um, but then they made the TV series out of it, so a lot of people have been talking about it. But I really, I don't want to read her again because I'm scared I might not enjoy it again. <laughs> and like, you know, I, as I said with the, with the first book, I kind of appreciate what it was. Um, for me, the problem was that it was like unlikable characters and I think you're supposed to like them. It was written as though you were supposed to like them, but I didn't like any of them, so it was just kind of painful. It was just like, it's like reading celebrity gossip about a celebrity you don't like. It's just like, what's the point? What's the point anyway? What's the point in gossip? Question number four, of all the things you have lost, what do you miss the most? I mean, I suppose I'm lucky in that I haven't been like affected by too much death in the family because that's just what springs to mind. Uh, the, only th the only thing I can think of is um, my nan passed away earlier this year. Um, she wasn't a blood relative, so she, but she was still my nan, you know. Um, but, so my grandpa, my grand, I don't know why I said grandpa, I would never say that. My granddad on my mum's side uh, divorced and remarried. And so I actually had like three sets of grandparents. So now it's just my granny and granddad, my grandma and granddad, and my other granddad. Um, so yeah, I suppose her, but we weren't particularly close as well. It's just, I don't know, when I think of things that you've lost and that you're gonna miss, it's gonna be a, a person, right? And I haven't really lost too many people. Question number five, how are you going to forge ahead in 2021? I am just gonna keep on doing a lot of the same stuff that I usually do. I'm gonna be, you know, still be doing YouTube videos, still writing books, I've got a few releases planned doing some more work at the art centre um, as well, so just keeping busy and working pretty much as much as I can. I'm trying to take on extra work where I can and doing bits of overtime so that I can save up some money and put it towards uh, buying a house. So um, that's kind of what's next life goal wise I suppose would be to, really I would like to buy a house because then I can really sort of take pride in it and I can decorate it how I want and all that kind of stuff. Um, I guess if not maybe to rent somewhere again, but I just feel like if I'm going to be spending the money I'd rather be paying it into a mortgage and eventually I get a house out of it, you know Rather than just giving it away to some landlord because in the time amount of time I've been living in this place I think I've sent my landlord about 25,000 pounds So, you know So I'm trying to save up for a deposit there we have it, short and sweet. Uh, that was the spooky, scary book tag. As always, more info will be listed below. I'm gonna tag some people. So I'm gonna tag The Bookish Report, who is apparently new to the channel. So hello and welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, Bulldog Reads, I don't know if he does tags. Uh, in fact, a lot of these people don't do tags. I will tag Charlie of Charlie Heathcote and Todd, Todd the Librarian. Uh, Jason, Jason's Weird Reads, if he wants to do it. Uh, books Are Us. Made with books, Steve Partridge, again I don't know if he does tags or not, and um, Noah from everyone who reads it must converse. 
So there we have it, that's what I made of the spooky slash scary book tag. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of my answers. Let me know if you're going to do this tag yourself as well, so I can like subscribe to your channel and uh, keep my eyes peeled for it and whatnot. And uh, yeah, hit that like button for more and stuff, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.